डी स्टूडेंट्स वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग लेक्चर नंबर थ्री एंड टूडे वी वॉन्ट टू कवर ओनली वन टॉपिक विच वॉज लेफ्ट इन लेक्चर नंबर टू दैट इज टूडे वी वॉन्ट टू कवर न्यूट्रिशन इन मल्टी सेल्युलर लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम टारगेटिंग वी आर डिस्कसिंग टूडे न्यूट्रिशन इन लेक्चर नंबर थ्री इन ह्यूमन बींग आई हैव ड्रॉन अ टेंटेटिव डायग्राम अंडरस्टैंड जस्ट फॉर द सेक ऑफ टाइम वेन वी मीट I will explain you how to draw the diagram okay but it is simple at least i will give you some hints from where you should start the diagram so that you will understand it okay and there is no need to draw the whole human figure this much data is sufficient showing your elementary canal okay now today our topic is nutrition in human being last time we discussed nutrition in amoeba that is a unicellular living organism at that time one uh, a minor two to three sentences are given in textbook like how nutrition takes place in paramoecium also you know paramoecium you all have seen it's a sleeper cell body like paramoecium suppose okay and on the body of paramoecium there are hair like structure called cilia and this hair cilia are doing constant wavy movement trap the food particle and diffuse it understand inside the cell body and the rest of the process take place like it occurs in amoeba okay that was just a mention of uh, how nutrition take place in paramoecium our today's target is human digestive system how nutrition take place in human being the question can be asked in exam explain human digestive system and the process of digestion before we move ahead in explanation actually which are organs of digestive system in our body the first our mouth that is our digestion actually starts from mouth okay so if somebody if uh, when you start writing this answer which are the organs of digestive system mouth tongue esophagus liver gall bladder stomach pancreas small intestine large intestine anus here if you are asked list out your uh, organs of human digestive system to so these three that is liver gall bladder and pancreas are actually accessory glands which help in the process of digestion understand they are secreting particular type of enzymes or hormones and help in the process of digestion so ultimately if you enlist out the organs of human digestive system it starts with mouth esophagus uh, stomach small intestine large intestine anus etc these are the accessory glands which help in the process of digestion they are liver gall bladder and pancreas 
इट कैन बी अ वन लाइन आंसर विच आर एक्सेसरी ग्लैंड अंडरस्टैंड इन ह्यूमन डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम तो लीवर गोल ब्लेडर एंड पेनक्रिया यू अंडरस्टूड दिस टंग ऑल्सो इट इज ऑल्सो टंग इज एक्चुअली एन पार्ट ऑफ ह्यूमन डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम बिकॉज इट हेल्प इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ डाइजेशन हाउ इट हेल्प इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ डाइजेशन दैट वी डिस्कस वन बाय वन बट फर्स्ट स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम हियर माउथ टंग इसोफेगस सी आई एम जस्ट शोइंग यू माउथ टंग इसोफेगस then stomach okay then from here and your back thi level this is small intestine joined with here with large intestine anus appendix and here is pancreas this is pancreas pancreas gall bladder you can show here and liver you can show here okay so this is human digestive system diagram not necessary you start from here my guidance is that you can start diagram from here first you draw the diaphragm diagram diaphragm first you need to draw this one if you first draw the diaphragm then thing becomes easy for you understand After you draw the diaphragm, suppose, then just draw the food pipe. Just now you do not have to draw; it is given in textbook. But I am giving the glimpse of that diaphragm first. Then you draw this food pipe, esophagus. Extend food pipe here and here. Uh, how you should make diagram? First, you draw the stomach this way. Uh, actually, it is not visualized here as stomach because pancreas stomach this way. First, you draw stomach only. Then you draw liver. This is liver, okay? Then you draw gall bladder. Actually, gall bladder this inlet gall bladder actually secretes hormone in small intestine. So this tube actually is shown here. the secretion from gall bladder actually come in small intestine and then you draw pancreas this way and pancreas also pour its enzyme here in small intestine and then from here you draw large intestine it's quite easy to draw large intestine understand small intestine this way a small intestine cha okay that and plus uh, after that you extend it and then you draw this human outline face out and here this way face outline ahia thi just pick the uh, split the food pipe from here one from here one from here then you draw this way and here this way it's not so difficult diagram if i can draw on board uh, you can draw in your book very easily so this is human digestive system okay let us start discussing how the digestion take place first ingestion we have we are gifted with hands for limbs we ingest the food inside our mouth with our hands after you ingest the food inside your mouth your mouth in the buccal cavity of the mouth we have got a socket of teeth four types of teeth you all know understand canine incisors molar premolar as you know we have got a socket of teeth as well as tongue what is actually the function of teeth is to cut the food eaten by us into 
small particle to chew it to grind it that is the function of our teeth it tears the food eaten by you into small pieces then it is chewed and grind at the same time what is the function of actually our tongue our tongue will help understand to roll the food while you chew grind at the same time food is rolled inside our mouth at the same time salivary gland in the buccal cavity and this you do not have to so salivary gland secretes secret saliva actually salivary gland is here in buccal cavity and that salivary glands suppose this is salivary gland secretes saliva and that saliva actually contain amylase enzyme understand which actually lubricates your food understand like whatever food you have eaten that is grinded by your teeth but at the same time saliva secreted secreted by salivary gland mixes with your food and makes food softer means it lubricates it so that food can easily roll down in food pipe understand or esophagus it has to move easily through the esophagus at the same time saliva not only lubricates our food but at the same time saliva contain one particular type of enzyme that is called amylase what is the function of amylase it starts the digestion of starch that is carbohydrate and convert it into glucose understand so we can say that the process of digestion starts in our mouth where it starts in our mouth whatever digestion take place in mouth we can call it physical digestion but at the same time amylase enzyme start the digestion of starch understand and convert it into simple sugar now after the process is over in the mouth food is almost cut into minute pieces when you chew and grind it saliva lubricates it amylase enzyme start the uh, function digestion of starch into simple sugar like maltose or glucose etc now the partly digested food roll down through esophagus actually the lining of the esophagus are quite softer that's why saliva help in lubricating it understand so the food has become softer semi paste which travel very slowly inside esophagus and reach to our stomach try to understand how to remember short note the role of mouth is over the role of esophagus is to transfer food from mouth to stomach now what is the role of stomach actually our stomach consist our stomach is a sac like structure only whose constant rhythmic movement contraction and relaxation is going on understand and that function is not under our control understood it is voluntary it continues constantly rhythmic con- uh, contraction and relaxation of stomach continues it is a good muscular sac where what happens when food enters our stomach from mouth via esophagus when food comes here in our stomach 
it remains here in stomach for almost three hours, and it gets churned completely. Churned. What do you know? You take any material and shake it again and again and again. That is called churning. So due to the constant rhythmic movement of the stomach, constant churning of the food take place at the same time. Our stomach has got three types of glands. In the inner wall, inner lumen of the stomach, three glands are there. Actually, there are three glands. They secrete three type of hormone. One secret HCL, actually dilute HCL. One secret pepsin. Actually, the full name is pepsinogen, but we just write pepsin. Okay. And one another gland secret mucus. Three types of hormones are secreted from three glands present on the inner wall of the stomach. That is HCl, dilute hydrochloric acid, then pepsin and mucus. Actually, role of the pepsinogen hormone pepsin is to start the digestion of protein. But the digestion of protein will not start until you create the acidic medium. So that acidic medium is created by HCl. So whatever HCl is secreted will mix with the food. HCl mix with the food and make the food in acidic medium so that pepsin can immediately act on it and start the digestion of protein. Understand? Then what is the role of mucus? Try to understand. Acidic medium is compulsory for the enzyme pepsin to be active. Understand on the food for the digestion of protein because digestion of protein starts in stomach. But for creating acidic medium, dilute HCl is a must. But at the same time, if HCl increases or pepsin increases its secretion has to be controlled autonomous control so that is done by mucus Mu mucus is a hormone which puts some autonomous control on the secretion of hcl and pepsin if hcl increases understand then it causes acidity that you all know very well where you have to take some antiacids to neutralize that acidity Okay, you understood the role of the stomach. It is a muscular sac like structure. It has three glands. One gland secret dilute HCl, one secret pepsin and one secret mucus. Dilute HCl actually mixes with the food and make it acidic. Because the food has become acidic, now it is easy for the enzyme pepsin to act and start the digestion of protein which start in stomach and actually mucus is one type of autonomous chemical control which actually controls the secretion of HCl and pepsinogen pepsin from the wall of the stomach. So roll of the stomach is over. Okay. Now in the stomach because the food remains for almost three hours it got converted into mostly a semi-liquid paste. Understand? Mostly. Now, digestion of starch started in mouth, digestion of protein started in stomach, and now this digested food ultimately goes to small intestine. Here from back you have to think small intestine, okay? Now, actually when the food goes to small intestine, small intestine is a convoluted tubule structure. And if you just want to understand what is the length of the small intestine to a normal human being, length of the small intestine is almost in adult 6.5 meter thing. 6.5 meter, su such a huge long tube is convoluted in our stomach or near our stomach. Almost 6.5 meter, not mentioned in your textbook, but you can remember it. Understand? Now, regarding the length of the small intestine, there is also difference. 
इन हर्बी वर्स एनिमल वो आर प्लांट फीडर्स वो ईट ऑन वी ईट प्लांट प्रोडक्ट्स दे हैव गॉट अ लार्ज स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन कंपेयर टू द कार्नी वर्स एनिमल द रीजन बिकॉज दे हैव टू डायजेस्ट द सेल्यूलॉज अरे डायजेशन ऑफ सेल्यूलॉज ऑलवेज टेक टाइम सो सेल्यूलॉज हैज टू ट्रैवल अ लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस सो दैट इट्स डायजेशन कंप्लीट्स मीट इज इजी टू डायजेस्ट कंपेयर टू सेल्यूलॉज दैट्स वाई कार्निवरस एनिमल हु आर फ्लैश ईटर्स हैव गॉट स्मॉल इंटेस्ट स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन स्मॉलर शॉर्टर कंपेयर टू द हर्बीवरस एनिमल बट वी हैव नॉर्मली सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव मीटर लॉन्ग स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन our food travels in small intestine slowly because small intestine is actually the site for complete digestion S- site for starting of digestion is our mouth and small intestine is the site of complete digestion okay so actually in small intestine uh, everything needs to be digest either carbohydrates protein fats vitamin water mineral are easily digestible things understand now what happens small intestine actually receives secretion from three remember very clearly small intestine here receives secretion of actually liver as well as pancreas try to understand actually liver secret a bluish colored yellow bluish colored bile juice which is, which is yellow is blue colored that bile juice is secreted by liver now what happens the bile juice which is secreted by liver does not directly get poured in small intestine but it is temporarily stored in gall bladder bile juice secreted by liver is temporarily stored in gall bladder and from gall bladder it goes to small intestine as well as pancreas also release hormones which are also directly poured in small intestine so actually small intestine receives secretion from ultimately liver and pancreas from river from liver bile juice and from pancreas three types of hormone which we discussed now now what happens here the digested food from stomach reaches to small intestine but it is acidic because of the dilution of hcl in it so for the hormones of the pancreas to be active on the food it has to be made ma- uh, it has to be made alkaline that is basic so who does it so that is done by the juice secreted by the liver that by yellowish blue juice what its function is is to make the food alkaline in the small intestine means to reduce it, its acidity it makes the food alkaline so that the hormone secreted by pancreas becomes active on that food understand actually pancreas secrete three types of enzymes understand let me write the name of those enzyme secreted by pancreas let us uh, write uh, somewhere here chalo you just re- uh, try to understand a short form atl a means amylis just try to remember this way atl you will never forget amylis that i have written already then trypsin and then lipase ATL આપણે કેમ લાઈક યુ રિમેમ્બર કેમ ATM ATL યાદ રાખી લેવાનું એમિલિસ ટ્રિપ્સિન એન્ડ લિપેસ થ્રી હોર્મોન સિક્રેટેડ બાય લિવર સ્ટાર્ટ એક્ટિંગ ઓન ધ ફૂડ ઇન ધ સ્મોલ ઇન્ટેસ્ટાઇન અન્ડરસ્ટેન્ડ 
they start acting on the food in the small intestine and they try to complete the digestion of carbohydrates proteins as well as fat that is lipid actually amylase digests carbohydrates and convert it into glucose which are simply absorbable from the wall of the small intestine so remember amylase hormone from pancreas secreted in the small intestine start the uh, complete the digestion of carbohydrate into glucose so carbohydrate is converted into glucose trypsin complete the digestion of complex protein and convert it into simple amino acid lipase complete the digestion of fats or lipid and convert it into small absorbable unit that is fatty acid and glycerol okay remember my dear student by just just make the alkaline medium in the small intestine three hormones from pancreas amylase trypsin lipase how will you remember it atl amylase trypsin lipase amylase does the complete the digestion of carbohydrate to glucose trypsin protein to amino acid and lipase that is lipid or fat to fatty acid and glycerols understand so actually for lipase bile juice is again helping because the fat molecules which enter the small intestine are large globules and bile juice decompose them and converted into small globules so that it becomes easy for lipase to be active on this understand so three ultimate product which lipase convert carbohydrate to glucose or amylase trypsin protein to amino acid and lipase fat to fatty acid and glycerol so almost liquid format understand occur in the small intestine digestion is complete now while the food digestion is complete and food travel through small intestine actually the if you draw the cross section of small intestine uh, just suppose suppose we cut here and just try to observe inner part of the small intestine it looks like this it has lots of villi like structure this finger like projection are, are called villi when food passes from here slowly this finger like projection absorbs understand all absorbable unit like glucose fatty acid glycerol and amino acid they are absorbed by the wall inner wall of the small intestine this finger like projection called villi it absorbs and as at, at the same time the inner wall of the small intestine is full of blood capillaries so the whatever absorbable units that is glucose amino acid fatty acid glycerol are absorbed will directly reach to our blood and from blood it reach to each and every cell understand for the energy production now here after the uh, absorption of uh, this particle is over almost uh, it is a semi solid paste in the small intestine which now enters the large intestine L while it passes through the large intestine it its inner lumen also have finger like projection and it absorb while the food travel in large intestine it absorb the extra water from that and ultimately the food digested food um, <coughs> necessary unit are absorbed and the rest is converted into solid paste which we throw out through our anus actually anus is also guarded by one type of sphincter muscles this sphincter muscles are such muscles that normally they remain closed but when they are forced they remain uh, they uh, open themselves and we release the undigested material waste material out through our anus understand so this is complete process of digestion actually sphincter muscle exists at two place one here where at the junction of 
stomach and small intestine and here at the anus when food enters from stomach to small intestine the sphincter motor muscles opens and the food enters the small intestine at the same time here when the undigested waste material come it forces for the sphincter or muscle open up and you throw it out this is the complete process of digestion understand so i think uh, uh, process of digestion is over just have a, a quick look at that food entered in mouth chewed cut into pieces by socket of teeth salivary gland lubricated it amylase enzyme in it just uh, <coughs> started the digestion of <coughs> starch okay then through esophagus enter stomach stomach has three hcl pepsin and mucus hcl make acidic medium pepsin become active start the digestion of protein mucus auto control the secretion of hcl and pepsin so via sphincter muscle goes to small intestine where secretion of <coughs> bile juice as well as well as secretion from pancreas bile juice make the food alkaline and convert <coughs> large globules into smaller fat globules three hormones from pancreas amylase trypsin and lipase ana naam you have to remember very well amylase trypsin and lipase amyl a t l am yaad rakh lo ne tar mistake thase a t l amylase does the digestion of carbohydrates trypsin digestion of protein lipase digestion of lipid fats amylase complete the digestion of carbohydrates into glucose trypsin complete the digestion of protein into simpler absorbable unit that is amino acid lipase complete the digestion of fat or lipid into fatty acid and glycerols understand <coughs> and then the role of small intestine digestion complete it uh, inner wall has got a finger like projections called villi which actually make the food travel slowly so that it can absorb all units understand from the digested food okay so while food travel inside the small intestine it is absorbed and transferred transfer to our blood through blood it reach to each and every cell of our body and then what is the role of large intestine just to absorb the extra water from that uh, whatever undigested part is left understand and converted it into solid and thrown out of anus okay so this is the complete human digestive system my dear student if you want to remember the short note understood so try to remember it by remembering function of each and every organ first you try to memorize mouth where function of tongue saliva amylase teeth try to remember this then try to remember the function of esophagus try to remember function of stomach where you need to remember name of three hormone which are those dilute hcl pepsin and mucus okay come to <coughs> small intestine when you come to small intestine how will you remember the short note when you come to small intestine try to understand that which two accessory glands are secreting their hormone in small intestine tarat yaad aavse liver as well as pancreas what is the role of liver what is actually the name of the enzyme or hormone secreted by liver you all know bile juice which is yellow is understand blue in color now what is the function of bile juice in a big cam try to remember what it makes the food entering the small intestine alkaline so that pancreatic enzyme can easily act on it at the same time it also does the function of converting large fat globules into smaller fat globules 
આ રીતે યાદ રાખો ટુ ફંક્શન ઓફ બાઇલ જ્યુસ વિચ આર ધોઝ ટુ ફંક્શન કેન યુ રિમેમ્બર ફર્સ્ટ it makes the food alkaline because it was initially acidic by the dilution of hcl in it it makes it alkaline so that pancreatic enzyme can be active at the same time it also does another thing what is that it converts the big flat globule into small globule na 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 bana okay now try to remember the role of uh, pancrea How will you remember the name of the hormone? Yeah, that will be an ATM machine. I'm going to ATL. A, amylase, trypsin and lipase. Amylase converts carbohydrates into glucose. Trypsin converts protein into amino acid. Lipase converts fat into what? Fatty acids and glycerols. Understand? So this way, small intestine roll is over. in which animal small intestine is larger in size larger in length in herbivorous animal why the reason because they have to digest cellulose which has to travel a good distance understand in small intestine clear this is okay carnivores has got small intestine because they have to digest meat which is very easy to digest okay so role of the small intestine digestion completes here it absorbs all units and transfer it to the blood via capillaries understand villi like finger like pro projections called villi which help in the absorption of the food material okay and then the role of large intestine complete short note you have to remember one by one mouth esophagus stomach pancrea liver gall bladder small intestine large intestine what is the role of gall bladder only to store temporarily the bile juice secreted by liver you understood this okay this is clear in your mind so this is short note of human digestive system and the process of digestion you understood this okay so our today's topic we only wanted to cover one topic that is human digestive system is over okay homework for all three lecture will will be sent to you through pdf thank you very much from bharat sir